Hi everyone, uh, this is the seventh video for our uh, uh, space fun game in Sprite Kit. So, in our last video, we had our uh, ship object and uh, plane object, and uh, we can move this as well. So in today's video, let's add some more character to this. So while we touch the screen, so it should also uh, uh, release the fire. So for that, uh, we need to uh, do two things. We need to determine that what's going to be the fire rate. Say for example, we want to have uh, a normal fire every um, half of a second and then we also need to track that when was the last time when the ship fired okay so for that so let's have some properties let's have uh, last fire time so when was the last time the ship fired and also uh, let's have uh, fire rate okay so the first thing what we need to do over here when our scene gets initialized so we set the fire rate and for that we simply need to say 0 0.5 which is 0.5 second okay and then what we can do in our update method uh, over here so we also need to see like if self dot hero touch so then not only move the sh move our object but also check it out if current time minus sorry self dot last fire time is greater than self dot fire rate so then self normal shoot do the normal shooting why i'm saying normal shoot because that would be every 0.5 of a second and then we would also do uh, some power thing that uh, some power is dropped and if you pick it so then your speed is going to be uh, speed of the fire is going to be increased xcode is yelling at us and it's rightly doing so because we haven't defined this method normal shoot but we will do that in a while and we also need to say that self dot last fire time is going to be now the current time right okay so now let's define our uh, method normal shoot okay and this one first let's grab our hero object sprite node sprite node with image named and we have uh, an image for this over here fire there you go uh, sorry 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 this we were we were we were grabbing our hero object so for that we simply need to say child node with name hero okay and then we say fire is going to be sprite mode sprite mode with the image name here we say fire fire dot name let's say it fire and fire dot size is going to be cg size make 10 13 this looks good on the screen okay then fire dot position so the position is going to be 
exactly as the position of uh, a hero as far as x is concerned dot y and uh, we also need to say hero dot frame dot size dot height divided by 2 let's add it to the scene so self add child file okay so if we check it now so it will not be moving I believe because we haven't defined any action yet so yeah like that whenever we click so we have this so okay so the next thing what we need to do let's define an action move move by x x is going to be zero y is going to be self dot size dot height plus fire dot size dot height and say for example we want to move it in 0.5 seconds of course we want to remove it once it is out of the screen sk action remove from parent and let's say fire and remove and here we say sk action we define a sequence move and then remove and then on fire we say one action fire and remove let's check it out if it works alright so it did fire but then it should fire continuously so something is wrong so let me check it out what is happening we said if current time minus self dot last fire time is greater than self dot fire rate and self dot fire rate we have uh, uh, all right this one should be here i believe this should solve our problem let's check yeah here you go so now it is continuously firing every uh, 0.5 of a second all right so that's it about today's video i hope you enjoyed it and please stay tuned for next videos and uh, i'll see you then thank you